Hi everybody, welcome back to Seeking Happy. I am beyond excited today because we are going to be opening this sealed box of Hunchback from Notre Dame, of Notre Dame, trading cards. This is a sealed store box from 1996 when the movie came out. It's got all the odds back here of finding things in case you want to pause and look at that. I personally kind of want to relieve room to be surprised. And inside here we have, uh, what was it? 48 packs, 48 packs of cards. So this will not be done in one sitting. Um, we're going to break this into parts. So let's go ahead and break it open today and let's do one or two packs. So I'm super excited. I just finished my, um, Pocahontas cards. And I was just blown away by what I saw in there. I was waiting on this one because I really wanted to um, watch the movie so that I'd have like a fresh memory um, while I was looking at the artwork and everything. I did that with the Pocahontas cards and I just felt like it so enriched my experience. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I did actually just see the movie and we're going to do one or two packs of cards. Now really quick it does show here what is in every pack. These are really exciting to me because I did open a loose pack um, that I had bought on its own or that I had gotten on its own before and I saw what they have and they have just so much stuff. They, these are so fun. So each one has 11 cards including a puzzle, a finger puppet, a build a tower, pop out, and more. And there are some special ones in here that we could get as well. Ooh, look at that! That is like so many packs. Isn't this exciting? They're all upside down. <laughs> so the box is supposed to be just, I don't know. Okay, they're all upside down. <laughs> Let's take out two of these beautiful packs. Look at them. These are so fun. I am super excited. The only thing is now that I've seen the movie, Oh man, this movie has like such beautiful artwork in it. I, I love this movie so much. And now that I remember like how, like how many special types of cards were in here and interactive cards, it makes me feel like I'm going to get a little bit less of actual artwork because like the Pocahontas cards were strictly artwork and I felt like it just like really gave you, it gave them the ability to recreate the movie in picture form. So I'm hoping that we get some good artwork here. Let's go ahead and start seeing. And what I'm looking for here is definitely going to be Esmeralda. She is, has always been one of my favorites. And um, beyond that, I would like some good hunchback cards. And I would love some of the scenery. <laughs> not famous. This is, oh, he's okay, but I'm just not swooning over him or anything. Okay, so the first one we have is the three gargoyle friends. I'm going to try my best to go through these a little more quickly than the past collections. So this one does give you a little bit of info on the back. And it's just really cute artwork of Quasi's friends there. Okay, so the second one here is going to be a movie shot. And these are like the regular cards, kind of glossy, lightweight. Um, and it looks like the one we have here is from the Festival of Fools where everything is like backwards and topsy-turvy. We've got a little info there. Okay, so this is one of the scenes that I was hoping I would get. Not necessarily this particular shot, but it is really nice. It is dynamic, um, the pose that they have chosen. And we do have some of the beautiful artwork here. Okay, this is something I was seeing during the movie. I believe... And if you know anything about this, feel free to comment and let me know what you know. Um, that they had started incorporating CGI along with the drawing of the artwork in this movie. Um, and they were kind of overlaid together. It was before they came out with Toy Story, which was completely CGI. So I think especially in some of the scenery, that's where we would get that. I loved, um, <laughs> I loved Esmeralda in all of her different presentations that they had of her, but uh, that... Even though it wasn't supposed to be nice or anything, that white outfit that she was wearing, um, I feel like her, I feel like she looked so beautiful in it because I always related to her because she was one of the darker Disney characters and her dark skin and her dark hair looked 
so stunning I felt like in that beautiful white um, outfit and then the second one is actually from a very similar scene so this is again where Quasimodo is helping Esmeralda ex escape <laughs> escape from the towers here and Frollo is following them really really intense that was a really like intense I feel like important movie it was done so well just like so many good things okay and then it looks like we're gonna get into the special cards here so this one we have is their little let me see dude what do they call it it's like a half and half card so it actually tears halfway through and you can like flip the characters so that you can mix and match them and I guess they're actually from what I remember all the same so you can probably once you have a bunch of these <laughs> just mix them with each other as well that's pretty cool and we have a little cutout. So this one is Laverne. This is uh, the little gargoyle friend. And I feel like this was, I feel like she was so much like a mother or a grandma role. And oh, and this is a finger puppet. So it has like the little slits so you can put it like a little this way on your finger. And then we got Dolly. Okay, so I had one of these packs when I was a kid. Just one. <laughs> and it kind of, it was actually the one that scared me away from these collector packs because I felt like a lot of the things were not complete cards like this and at the time I didn't understand like why they were like that but now I do and now I have a ton of cards so I'm not bothered by these cards that you really kind of have to collect to make them into something um but I actually did have this card when I was little it's like the well I guess it's not a character card I thought it was but it's a puppet of Jolly and I really liked him. I just thought he was so cute. So I think I held on to that one for a while. So this one is like a puzzle piece. You can tell, oh, the build a tower. So this one actually, I think goes into a 3D figure when it's done. So uh, I don't know if I get all of those, then we'll see what that looks like. That'll be really cool. Okay, we have our coin cards. I think these are in every pack and they're just little, pop out coins that you can do things with really cute but I have to say I think we're gonna get tired of seeing those I don't know that I need them in every pack and then this is our puzzle card so I was really impressed when I saw my first puzzle here it is a thicker card stock and it's all embossed debossed so you just um, can punch out the little pieces and you'll have a tiny little trading card size puzzle and we do have the festival of fools here where esmeralda's up on the top of the roof kind of doing her bow to the crowd after she's entertained everybody and humiliated frollo love that scene so that's a good card and then we have the jester's challenge so this is one of the ones that's very interactive and it gives you a little like game that you can play so this is, again, I think these are super, super cool if you have like kids <laughs> that you're opening these with. If I was a kid when I opened it, but I'm not now, but maybe I'll pass it on to one of my little uh, nieces or something. So we have the little fold out book. It looks like these are going to be one in every pack. So that's the first one. Let's go ahead and just open a second pack here. Even though there was a lot of different stuff there, I still feel like we got some good artwork. What do you guys think? Okay, so we have Phoebus on the first card here. Really cool shot. This is actually Esmeralda. That's kind of got him pinned in the uh, cathedral when he first followed her in there. And they kind of have their first meeting. And it's got a little bit on the back there. And then it looks like I got Esmeralda, kind of like a character card. This is at the end of the Feastifuls where she has to kind of escape and she swirls this purple cape around herself and disappears. Really cool shot, really pretty. I love the way this particular card has kind of gotten the movement of that scene. So we have the, the flow of the cape kind of coiling around her, but we still get an actual good character shot here, which I'm happy about. And we've got some info on the back as well. Your special fortune. How sweet. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I feel like they like really put in a lot of thought into what you could do with these cards. And I really love that about them. So we have like another Laverne card. But this, I guess, is like a character card where the other one was the finger puppet. 
It's got a little bit about her. She was sweet. I did like her. And then we've got Victor. Um, here he is. That looks like his character card <laughs> with a little Victor quote on the back. I am not amused. And really pretty colors. I do think this movie was very um, color themed. Kind of each, I would say each group of characters or each kind of setting had their own color scheme that came across. And so I really like that. I think we're going to see that in the cards. And then we have another one of those little topsy-turvy cards. So this one can be punched out and switched with the one on the back. But this guy's sideways, so I don't know how that'll work. Should we Should we do one? Ooh, I'm conflicted. I'd have to tear my card in half. <laughs> I'll think about that. You guys let me know. Do you want to see those punched out? And then our finger puppet here is going to be Victor. Really cute. So we're getting different ones. So that's nice. And we have a second finger puppet. Is that... I, I think there's at least one finger puppet in every pack. We have two. So we have Cloppin, who I love. Really cool. And then it looks like we have another tower piece. So I've got to start, like, organizing these after so I can see how close I am to building that. And also, I don't know, like, how many cards there are in the actual collection. Oh, well, here's 82. Oh, and I can see that these are the card numbers that make up the tower. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight cards will make up our tower. So actually, I think I already have two or three of those. We have our little coins. Look at the little silhouettes. Cloppin, Jolly, and Esmeralda. Really cute. And those are double-sided. And here is our puzzle. Oh, I love this. I think this is the opening scene of the movie. Well, after like the intro, because Cloppin gives kind of like a little intro. And then I guess we meet Quasimodo. And this is where we meet him being so gentle. Um, he's been obviously nursing this little bird to help and trying to teach him to fly out of the tower. So sweet. So kind and patient and encouraging and loving. And obviously we see um, the symbology here of the little bird leaving the tower. Being like Quasimodo leaving the tower eventually. Not in that moment. Really, really pretty. Okay, so we have another Jester's Challenge here. And I gotta take a quick look. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't sure if these were... I thought they were like the same game. But now I see it's a complete game that you're building. So these actually become the cards of a complete game that's called the Jester's Challenge. So each one has a different activity and you play through the game together. Kind of like, um, like we didn't play test this. If you've ever played that, it's an adult game, but it looks like this plays similarly. So they, they, they're like random prompts. So this one says, place the ca this card between your knees and hold it there without dropping it and take step seven steps forward. These are like <laughs> kid games, but obviously that'd be like a hilarious drinking game too. <laughs> and then it tells you the game effect, play this card to discard any opponent's activity card currently in play. So it builds on each other. This one says, choose one opponent, you opponent, you and that opponent must stare at each other without blinking. If you blink first, you do not uh, get the game effect. Game effect, pick one card at random from any opponent's hand and discard it. Okay, so really cool. Now I'm like super excited. So I these do have like a little additional little feature on the bottom, but I don't see like a number, like a card number. So I don't know how many there are of these, but there is one in every pack and I've got 48 packs to open. So I'm super excited. I'm like actually getting a game I can play here within these cards. <laughs> And again, these are the different types of things that we can get here. I know we just uh, saw most of them. So here we are in case you would like to see. There's our build a tower. And here we've got some more on the back. So that was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did try to go a little bit quicker. I just love talking about this stuff and these are so fun. So that's it for today, but stay tuned. We're going to open a whole lot of these guys together. Thank you guys so much for watching and please do like and subscribe. It just uh, really warms my heart to know someone out there is uh, enjoying these videos. Okay, thank you so much. Goodbye.